Hello YouTube, it is me, Manny the Phenom of Phenom Studios. Ha ha ha. Here to do another Draw with Jim Lee video. Today, got a, got a big character guys. Hope you're ready for this one. Darth Vader. I'm sure you can already tell by the title and thumbnail. You already know. Why. You're here for a reason, Darth Vader. I put a poll up on my Instagram story. Um, did, you, did you guys want me to do All Might or Vader and Vader, Vader 1? Um, so if you guys want to uh, interact with that, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, phenom underscore studios, and uh, check that out. I post all my drawings on there, and then extra stuff that you, you won't see uh, anywhere else from me. I'm on Instagram uh, almost every day, so follow me if you're interested. But I don't want to waste any time here. Let's go uh, jump right into this video. Boom. What's up, guys? That's me from the future. But if you're watching now, it's the present. Well, actually, it's the past, isn't it? I'm filming this as you're watching it in the past. I'm in the... Never mind. Anyways, first thing I do with these drawings, per huge, I will skip to the end of Jim Lee's video and see what the finished drawing looks like so I know where it's placed on the paper. Because if I don't do that, and I'm just uh, drawing uh, uh, with him uh, at the start. And, uh, and he has a vision. I don't have a vision. He, he sees where things are going to go. I don't, so I gotta see what it looks like in the end so it's placed nicely, it's not gonna be too small or too big, it's not gonna run off the page. So uh, I'll do like a really quick, hey look, I switched the camera's position, that's that's a new one for, I'm gonna keep doing that. Uh, I wanted to switch camera modes, not modes, but positions, so just to make it a little more entertaining, you know, it, it gets boring just in one spot. Um, but yeah, that was cool. I'm gonna be doing more of that in the future. Anyways, what was I saying? I was saying something about, um, um something or another. I don't remember. I lost my train of thought. Anyways, this helmet here, um, took a, took a, a while to do. It took, uh, Jim Lee was explaining it during the video, but helmets are, um, deceptive. Like, they're, they're, they're harder than, than they look, because they have to treat, um, Especially Dark Vader's helmet. There's, it's so weird. It's not like a regular, you know, like you know, like the military helmets that are just like we're out and go down. His has all sorts of weird grooves and crevices and, and curves and turns. So it, you have to be really con conscious of of those little things because uh, if one thing's off, your your eye notices. Especially with the Dark Vader, Darth Vader because he's so recognizable. Even if you're not the biggest fan, you you know what he looks like just in your subconscious, and you'll notice that something is off. So the, so the helmet took, took a while to do, but I eventually got it. I gotta figure out this light issue. I have the biggest issue with lights. See how bright it is on the, at the top of the paper? Too bright. And we have a camera switch again. I was really excited to do Darth Vader because he's such a popular character and I feel like this would get a lot of people like, excited like on Instagram and uh, maybe YouTube. I've, I've been, I've, I posted it on YouTube the finished piece, it's not getting a lot of spotlight, not what I thought. It has like, I don't know, 20 likes now, it's been up for a day. I don't know, I can't figure out Instagram, I've only been working on Instagram for freaking 4 years posting constantly and editing things and spending all this time and energy and I don't know, I don't understand Instagram. I, work, I try so hard. And I'll see new new people that just join on Instagram, they'll like start following me like, dude I love your work. Um, and then and they, they'll have like way less followers and then they'll get like hundreds of likes on their photos like we're off the bat. Dude what the heck, I, I'm trying, like what do you do that I'm not doing? I don't get it. Uh, pencil penciling is done. Um, usually with these Jim Lee videos, he does not go he does not go into that much detail with pencils. Like literally, like if he's doing Batman, he'll do like a quick 10 second little sketch because he knows what Batman looks like. But Darth Vader, he, he said he's never drawn Vader before, so he he wanted to make sure he got it right. So he spent he spent a while on the penciling, and now here comes the ink. Thank you. 
I need new pants badly because the ink's not coming out of these things. I bought them off Amazon. I think it was like 12 bucks. And I got a whole pack and they, they started off good, but now it's like the ink's not coming out of the nibs. And like the, the, the smaller nibs, like they went fast. They went pretty, pretty fast. The bigger ones work fine, but the small ones are like broken. Uh, life of an artist. So hard. Still working on being able to make a smooth line, like a consistent smooth line. I see people do that and they do it with ease and I don't know how they do it. Man. I'm so like shaky and crooked and jagged. But I guess uh you know I just I don't have that talent unless I'm able to gain that talent. I feel like I've gotten better though. It's, it's probably it's just probably something to work out for years. I actually had a lot of fun with, with, with the painting when we're putting down the ink like that. The That shine effect was really awesome to do. I don't have a lot of experience with that, but it was just popping out so well. And uh, I was just watching Jim Lee closely and, and just trying to mimic what he was doing. And like, the, the glaring on the helmet it came out beautifully. I was able to just do the brush in a certain way. and you kind of had to let it flow and kind of let it do its own thing you couldn't be too mechanical with it you had to be organic with it so it looked natural and i mean i'm looking at it now and i love the way that looks and you'll see later in the vid video that i go in with white out and I want more white spots I had a lot of issues with, with um, Darth Vader's right side, um, not 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 his left side, which is going off the Vader, but the right side. I couldn't figure it out to where it looked correct. Meaning, like at first it looked it looked too small, like it looked like it was tucking in too much. Maybe that was just me. I guess I'm looking at it now; it looks fine. But I kept extending it and making it bigger and wider and wider. I probably should have just left it alone to begin with. But couldn't help myself. I think I ended up turning out on right. I'm still trying to get good at that little sponging thing. Jim Lee does it so perfectly. Uh, when I do it, I'm, uh, it looks. No, I was talking about the mechanical thing and how it doesn't look organic. Yeah, you want things to look organic. I think I think I do it too, too mechanically. I can make it more like random colors. And here's the whiteout. Whiteout is awesome. I love whiteout. It just cleans up messes and you can add shine. Our Vader looks like he just ran through a car wash. Has a new gloss to him. Has a brand new helmet he's wearing. It's beautiful. This was actually a really cool video, because uh, Jim Lee's video, because he was he's he's out he was actually teaching more, and I think he's been trying to do that with his Twitch streams, give more tips, and I was learning a great bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Darth Vader. Here it is, right here, proof that I made it. This freaking thing took five hours. I did not expect this to take that long. Uh, man, it's, it's more work than it looks like, guys. More work than it looks like. Uh, but I think it came out pretty, pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Um, looks cool. Uh, not perfect. I, I'm always gonna say it doesn't look perfect because uh, I'm looking at it and I see a lot of imperfections and things I want. I wish I could have done better. Um, I don't know if I pointed out to you. Especially if you guys think it looks cool. I don't want to ruin it. But overall, it looks cool. I think it's going to look good on the wall. You think you guys think it should go on the wall? Does, it, does this deserve 
to go on the wall. Let me know in the comments section. Should this go? Should I buy a frame for this? I'll go to Walmart right now and get a frame for this. I keep looking. I gotta remember to look at the webcam. I keep looking at my screen, but I need to look at the webcam. I'm looking at you guys. Should I get a? Should I get a um, frame and put this on my wall next to Boba Fett? Later in Boba Fett. Let me know. Yes or no. If you guys made it this far in the video, I really want to give my thanks for taking the time to watch all that. I uh, re really appreciate it. Uh, work hard on these videos. Um, they, they actually took a good bit of editing. Um, and the drawing took a while, but if you guys are enjoying it, then I'll keep making them. I have fun. Uh, it, though it is a lot of work, it does take a lot of concentration and focus and effort to make these. And I'm happy to do so because these look badass. Uh, just, um, yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, next next drawing will be out next week, same time probably. And uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe, please. Like the video, all, all that is, I, I appreciate. It. So, till next time, guys. Being on out.